And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. I give you the rundown on tennis coverage every day. And we are back in the studio taking a look at my top prospects to watch out for the upcoming season in 2024. Number seven on this list is someone that is playing very good. Good tennis, guys. Has an amazing upward trend. A former top-ranked junior. Number seven on this list of ten, Celine Naif from switzerland ladies and gentlemen in particular she's from facebook switzerland she's 18 years old her favorite shot is her right two-handed backhand and boy she's got a 75 percent win percentage on tour six itf championships in october this past october she reached her highest ranking on tour 121st she's dropped a little bit she's now currently ranked 142nd but listen guys this next upcoming season we could certainly see celine naif break the top 100 i think it's possible and i think it's realistic let's take a look at celine buckle your seat belts grab some popcorn we're in for a ride Celine is a former top 10 ranked junior, number four to be exact. Last year, we actually saw her win Bonfiglio, which is one of the top junior tournaments you can win outside of a slam. But she also reached the French Open finals with her doubles partner, Nicola, before losing to Sarah Bajlik in what was a really good match with Lucy Havlikova. And literally a month later, she played in the European Youth Championships where she would end up losing to someone else that's actually on this top 10 list, Victoria Jimenez, in what was an amazing match as well. Celine's got a 90% win rate in ITF championship appearances. We've seen her win titles in Tunisia, France, the UK, Portugal, and her only loss actually came on home turf in Switzerland. Ouch. But six for seven, that's not bad, guys. I'll take that any day. And it's even better if we're talking about doubles. Celine is perfect in ITF doubles championship appearances, two for two, winning titles in France and Portugal. Celine won 28 matches in 22 with huge wins over Yana Fett and her best up to that point, Wickmeyer, a former top 20 player. And before losing her only ITF championship appearance in Switzerland to Mira and Dreva, she took out Simona Walter and Fiona Farrell. Ava Liz and Oz Opek are honorable names as well but the big showdown that had everyone talking about Celine this year was the showdown with the queen, Venus Williams and Hartogenbosch. Imagine being only 18 years old, playing in one of your first main tour events and having to face one of the greatest female tennis players of all time. It seemed like Celine was very nervous to start this match as Venus Williams ran away with the first set. Venus was up a break in the second set and it looked like Venus Williams was headed towards victory. But Celine miraculously would force a second set tie break coming back from down a break and she would win it, forcing a third and final set. Venus Williams had never lost in a grass match leading up to Wimbledon, the best surface she's produced results on as a professional. And ladies and gentlemen, the upset would happen. 18 year old Celine would defeat Venus Williams. I could not believe it. The subscribers listening to me cover the match live could not believe it. Venus could not believe it. And Celine herself could not believe it. How did she do it? Well, she used her amazing athletic ability and took advantage of her speed on one of the fastest surfaces to play tennis. Venus Williams was forced to come vertical when Celine mixed in drop shots, and that's something Venus Williams does not like to do. Well, at least at this age. Celine showed incredible mental toughness, handling the powerful ground strokes of Venus Williams. Celine would go on to complete the amazing comeback and the biggest victory of her career. She would then get out of the round of 16 by defeating another American, Kat McNally, in three sets. She would eventually lose to Veronica Kudamatova in the quarterfinals in straight sets. Despite the loss, this tournament was an amazing confidence booster for Celine. After all, how many players on tour can say they own the head-to-head -head against Venus Williams? Celine showed her grace and respect for the veteran player in what was a classy interview, giving thanks to Venus for being her idol and someone she always looked up to. 
Yes, amazing. I mean, I cannot believe uh, that I had the chance to play against Venus. Um, yeah, she's an amazing player and I'm really a role model. Celine would go on to say Venus Williams was a role model and inspiration for her growing up and it was an honor to share the court with Venus. Such a classy teenager, ladies and gentlemen. The final stat line showed Celine was just too much in the third set. But however, this was also a treat as fans got to see Serena Williams come out with the family to support Big Sister. Serena's busy schedule doesn't allow her to attend many matches these days, so seeing her in the stands with family was also amazing. Prior to the match with Venus, Celine had never played on grass and she would go full steam headed into the Wimbledon qualifiers. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, she made the main draw. In the first round of qualifiers, she took out Dimitra in straight sets. The second round, she took out Aslan Kruger in straight sets. In the third round of qualifiers, she would go three sets with Dayana Yastremska, and she would win, ladies and gentlemen. This propelled her into the main draw of Wimbledon, and she would take on Anastasia Podopova in the first round in what was a pretty competitive match. Celine would then go on to play competitive matches in the Hopman Cup versus Clara Tawson, Elise Cornet, Donna Vekic, and then head back home to Switzerland and win a set off of top 40 player Elisabetta Colciaveto. Celine would end this year playing great tennis, winning a set off of top 40 player Lena Noskova, winning a set off of top 50 player Elisabetta, winning a set off of top 20 player Anastasia Padapova and nearly winning a set, taking to a tiebreak, former Grand Slam finalist and top seven player on tour, Danielle Collins. Selena is number seven on my list, but she could possibly be higher. She's shown her ability to handle the fastballs of some of the best players on tour. She has amazing foot speed, she defends well, she has great range with her shots, and she loves to mix in the drop shot to keep opponents second guessing. This upward trend should give you an indication of what's to come for Jalene. Of the seven tour matches she's played, she averages two aces per match. She wins 62% of her service games, but I'm impressed by how she defends and wins return games. She's winning 30% of her return games. There's players inside the top 10 that do not average that. That's pretty darn impressive, Celine. She gets 64% of her first serves in play and she breaks opponents when they're pressured at 45%. Celine Nafe, number seven of my top 10 players to watch out for in 2024. This is Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Like the video and show this young lady some love. And stay tuned for number six.